Hey guys, Kevin Grant is back here with some more mental fitness for you guys from Rev Ike's Science of Living Guide. So check it out. Here we go. Nutritionist Adal Davis is famous for the statement, you are what you eat. I would like to revise this statement in the science of living philosophy and state that you are whatever you feed your mind. Many people don't realize that everything in your life is a reflection of the ideas, thoughts, and beliefs in your mind. It follows that you have to watch what you let your mind feed upon. Whatever idea you feed your conscious mind with, your subconscious mind will bring into your experience. Now that's very important. And what I want to remember, and I want you to remember that, whatever idea you feed your mind with, your subconscious mind will bring it into your experience. If you feed your mind negative ideas, you're going to have negative results in your experience. This reminds me of the way some people treat their dogs. Now, this may be a bit coarse for some of you, but I've seen some people neglect to feed their dogs properly at home, and after a while, the dog leaves. And where is the dog? He's outside running around, eating anything he can find in a garbage can. You see, if the dog isn't being fed properly, he will eat what he shouldn't. And the dog ends up sick and mangy because he doesn't have the proper diet and care. It's the same way with your mind. If you do not consciously and regularly feed your mind positive ideas, then your mind will become just like that neglected dog and feed on the garbage of the world mind. And you know what will come into your life? Garbage. Feed your mind properly. What should you feed your mind? You should constantly feed your mind right ideas. The Bible tells us man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The mouth of God is the mouth of good. The mouth of God speaks only good, positive, loving words of health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. This is the spiritual and mental nutrition that your mind needs in order to manifest positives in your experience. That's why I'm so big on mental fitness. Your subconscious mind accepts whatever ideas you feed it, you feed it and brings them into your experience. Just as your physical body reflects health and strength when you feed it correctly, so will your life reflect the right ideas you feed your mind. But but this right thinking can't be something you do only once in a while and expect to get right results. Just like you can't eat good for once a month and expect to be healthy. You can't just think one positive thought once a month and expect your life to change for the better. You must continually and constantly feed your mind only good thoughts, positive thoughts. Only good thoughts, positive thoughts. You must feast upon the idea of health. Feast upon the idea of happiness, of love, of success, and of prosperity. Stuff your mind with positive ideas. Digest all the positive teachings I give you until they become a part of you. This is Rev. Ike saying this. And exercise your mind daily by practicing mental techniques of positive thinking. If you don't have Rev. Ike's books or if you don't follow him on YouTube, follow him. Every day affirm to yourself, God in me is my unlimited source of all good. Begin each morning with a good mental and spiritual breakfast, including positive affirmations like, This is the day which the Lord hath made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. You don't even have to get out of bed in the morning to start thinking positive. Have breakfast in bed. Lunch on ideas of health. Snack on positive beliefs and attitudes. Never let your mind go hungry for positive thoughts and positive ideas. Never let your mind starve for ideas of health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. Always include, as part of your daily diet, thoughts like, The presence of God in me heals me and keeps me well. 
Each night before you go to sleep, have a balanced meal of good ideas. As you feast on these positive ideas, as you practice consistent and continual positive thinking, mental fitness, these positive ideals will just seep into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind will digest these positive ideas from the mind of God in you and prepare you to experience the good you desire. So guys, once again, I'm very big on mental fitness. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. My information is below this video. Uh, check out Rev Ike's information on YouTube. Uh, get the book by Rev Ike, Science of Living Guide, or just contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. I am here to support your mental fitness. This, this, once, this page is about mental fitness, physical fitness, and prosperity. So I talk about all that things, all of those things, and try to help myself and you attract more or allow more of that thing of those things to flow into your life. Mental fitness, physical fitness, and prosperity. Comment below. Let me let me know what you think about Rev Ike's message. Thank you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, click the bell icon so you'll know when I upload my next video. Bye-bye.